uh, Edward Weston used to show his photographs in Monterey. Uh, there was a Pat Wall gallery. A, guy named, a man named Pat Wall had the first gallery back in the 40s and in Monterey. And he showed Edward Weston's prints. They used to sell for as much as $10 a piece. And uh, there was a place uh, called the Rings Restaurant. Down, became the clock restaurant later on. And uh, Vic Knight was an old advertising man from New York. And he started this funky little restaurant uh, called Rings. I don't know where that came from. But he used to have art shows and auctions of photography and, and paintings uh, there a lot. And uh, Ansel Adams, I think his paintings, his uh, photographs were going for as much as maybe $20, $30 a piece. I became involved with the photographic group here after my brother came back in the late 40s and uh, was here. And I got in, involved with the group and started helping my brother in 1951 photograph. We photographed Jeffers and, and uh, photographed a lot, of, a lot of things in the area. And uh, it was, it was uh, exciting. It was exciting. Of course, it was Ansel Adams came back and, and came down here in the 60s. And then, but there was the Westons. And I did meet... Uh, uh, Edward Weston's in the, in the f early 50s. He used to come up to Monterey High School and give talks once in a while. But then he got, Alice, uh, he got uh, Parkinson's disease and passed away, I think, in 57. But Cole and, and uh, his brother Brett were here in the area. There was uh, a lot of photographers. There must have been, oh, 25, 30 photographers at that time living here and working. Uh, trying to think of some names. Ansel Adams, but he came in, in 1960 or 61, I think. He wasn't here in the 50s but, or the 40s. People like Steve Crouch uh, was a wonderful photographer. He had done the book uh, Steinbeck Country, which was a, a big hit. Uh, there were uh, photographers named Ray Rubel. There was uh, a lot of uh, early photographers like Jocelyn and uh, Pat Hathaway got a lot of the archives. Uh, from a lot of the photographers who were here in the early part of the century and turned them into a, 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 a good archive in Monterey. Uh, trying to think who else. Uh, there, there were just so many of them. Sometimes we'd work together, sometimes we'd help each other out with and crewing things, but there was the, the camera craft was on Ocean Avenue. It's now a, a Sotheby's real estate office. And that's where everybody would wind up sometime during the day. Uh, be coffee in the back room, and we'd all come in. Ansel would know Westons and Steve Crouch, and, and uh, some of the other photographers would wander in and out and have a cup and, and shoot the breeze. And uh, it was a very, there was no tourism back then. It was all very uh, creative and artistic, and there were a lot of local businesses. There were a couple of hardware stores, uh, oh, it must have been half a dozen markets, and there was uh, nine gas stations in town. And it was all local services. There was no re real estate firms. Carmel Realty was there, I think, and that was about it. And uh, it was uh, mostly for locals. We used to have beach parties down at Stewart's Cove, which is where the river mouth is. That was a traditional thing. Uh, uh, a lot of the locals would go down there and, and build a fire and go out in the rocks and get some mussels and periwinkles. And uh, that, that was a big thing going down on Saturday night, going down to the Stewart's Cove. There was a, a mansion called the Stewart Mansion, which was right there, which is gone now. That's why they call it Stewart's Cove. And the river mouth was right there. And it was uh, very low key, uh, very easy. Big, dig a pit, put some wood in it, build a fire, and there'd be all these locals, be artists and writers and, and uh, photographers, and people would all congregate down there on the weekends. Or sometimes at people's houses. Once in a while, somebody'd have a, a little party. Weston, you know, had a, a, a gallery here, a studio. He wasn't making any money off his, his art photos. He was shooting portraits, Edward Weston, to make a living. And uh, uh, there, were, oh, there were a lot of photographers who were working really hard to make a living around here. It was tough. My brother uh, worked for the Herald and then became a stringer for United Press back in the, in the 50s. And I went to work, work with my brother in 1951. I remember one of the first projects we did was uh, they shot a movie called Clash by Night down at the wharf in Canary Row. Uh, it was Barbara Stanwyck, Robert Ryan, and Marilyn Monroe. And they stayed at a wonderful little hotel called the Mission Inn Hotel down in Monterey. 
And we went, United Press hired us to go down there and film, photograph them in the evening, just before they went out for dinner. And that was fascinating. Marilyn Monroe, this was one of her very first movies, she was luminous. She was one of the most beautiful people I'd ever seen in my life. And she was very accessible, uh, just down, down to earth. And uh, Barbara Stank was very nice, so was Robert Ryan. And uh, we went on and I helped my brother photograph a lot of things uh, in the area back then.